There is a long debate over where the actual cradle of mankind is, a place where humanity first began. While it's quite evident from research that this happened in Africa, not many people are familiar with the exact location. The main debate is whether it is in East Africa or Southern Africa. Kenya, with numerous archaeological sites, is the well-deserving suspect. Researchers have recognized it as a hotbed of archaeological discoveries. The fossils uncovered here tell almost the entire story of our evolution. There are over 350,000 fossils in the National Museum of Kenya, and about 700 of them are of ancient humans. Whether it's the cradle of mankind or not, the sites in Kenya are most crucial for studying early human history. Stick with us till the end and learn more about the tools, artifacts, and the oldest archaeological sites that have been discovered so far. At the Koki Soleil archaeological site near Lake Turkana, scientists unearthed a rare collection of picks, flakes, and hand axes in 2011. These tools were uncovered while excavating mudstone banks on the shores of Lake Turkana in the remote northwest of the country. The largest tools, about 20 centimeters long, were chipped into shape on both sides to make a tear shape. Plus, these hand axes have distinct chiseled edges that indicate a careful design and selection of specific rocks for their creation. Toolmakers use these versatile tools for everything from chopping wood to cutting meat, and they were so handy that scientists call them the Swiss Army Knife of the Stone Age. However, these tools are completely different from the older toolkit known as Older One tools. That's why they were classified as the Acheulean toolkit. Just so you can have a better idea, these tools were more refined and advanced than the previously known stone tools. Along with these tools, scientists have also excavated the remains of extinct species. These included primitive versions of hippos, rhinos, horses, antelope, big cats, and hyenas. It suggests that early humans used these tools to hunt these species. But who made these all-purpose tools? These teardrop-shaped hand axes dated back to about 1.76 million years, and by analyzing the mudstone sediments in which they were found, it was revealed that they were used 350,000 years earlier than previously known Acheulean tools. Previously, the oldest tools of this kind were found in Konso, Ethiopia, and dated to 1.4 million years old, with other examples from India dated between 1 million and 1.5 million years old. Most Acheulean tools have been found alongside fossilized bones of Homo erectus. This suggests that our ancestors developed this technology as an improvement on the older one tools they inherited, or the earlier pebble choppers used by Homo habilis. If Homo erectus started in Africa and then spread to Asia, it's puzzling why they didn't immediately take the advanced Acheulean tools with them. It took hundreds of thousands of years for the technology to become widespread elsewhere, this is still a mystery. The discoveries in Kenya hold significance because they changed two main assumptions made by researchers previously. One of the assumptions is that the cradle of humankind is in Asia. Louis Leakey, archaeologist and anthropologist, made tons of discoveries in Kenya to prove that human evolution is centered in Africa and not Asia. Second, we humans assumed that our direct ancestors, Homo, were the only toolmakers in the Stone Age. However, the older stone tools have been found at Nyayanga in 2015 and were traced back to around 2.9 million years ago, long before our Homo ancestors emerged. Plus, no traces of human fossils belonging to our direct ancestors were ever found near these sites. So if not our ancestors, who was tech-savvy enough to build these tools? Subscribe to enjoy learning more about the incredible discoveries of our primitive past and the early humans who once roamed this land. Three types of tools were found in the Nyayanga site. These are flakes, cones, and hammer stones, which belong to the Older One toolkit. These oldest tools were used across Africa and beyond for over a million years. The early humans would hold a rock in one hand and strike it with another stone to chip off thin sharp flakes. These rocks and flakes were used to slice and crush various materials for food processing. 
Slice marks on several hippo bones indicate that they were cut up for their meat, which was likely eaten raw. Early humans also used their tools to break open antelope bones for marrow and peel tough plant roots. So who were these people who created tools that could butcher a hippo? The mystery was solved when two teeth were found that belonged to the oldest Paranthropus fossil. This presence in the same area suggests they were the ones that developed the older one tools. However, scientists can't come to the conclusion that they developed these tools or just happened to die there. Whatever the fact is, the tools discovered in Niayanga became the oldest known Older One tools ever found. Before that, the Older One tools found in Ledi Gararu, Ethiopia, were considered the oldest, being 2.6 million years old. But the secrets hidden under the earth are so complicated that we may take even more centuries to decipher. A discovery was made in the Lomikwai III site in Ethiopia that uncovered tools even older than those found in Niayanga, or Ethiopia. They were 3.3 million years old, 500,000 years older than the Homo fossils of 2.8 million years ago. This time period was suggested based on the stratigraphic position of the buried artifacts in undisturbed sediment relative to two layers of volcanic ash and known magnetic reversals. The tale of the Lomikwai stone tools began in 2011 in West Turkana, Kenya. Archaeologists Sonia Harman and Jason Lewis came across a collection of unusual stones. Initially, these seemed like random rocks, but closer inspection revealed something remarkable. Meticulously crafted stone tools. These weren't the typical hand axes or flakes, but unique cores and sharp edged flakes with distinct features. What makes these tools unique is their unconventional design. They have unique battering marks and surface patterns, indicating a completely different approach to toolmaking. While the exact use of these tools remains unclear, the fact that they were discovered near a riverbed suggests they might have been used for activities related to aquatic resources, such as breaking open nuts or processing plants. So how many such oldest tools were found? Around 20 well-preserved artifacts were found embedded in the earth at Lomikwai III, including anvils, cores, and flakes. In addition, 130 artifacts were found on the surface. The tools were generally large, larger than the oldest known stone tools from the Gona area in Ethiopia. The largest tool weighs 15 kilograms and might have been used as an anvil. Though these discoveries came under intense scrutiny, a group of researchers claimed that these artifacts were natural rock formations, not created by any human. But Hermand, the researcher who led the discovery, argued that these tools were clearly napped. Further analysis showed the cores had been rotated as flakes were struck off. This is the most advanced late neogene technology known in archaeology. These finds at Lomaqui are to date the oldest stone tools ever discovered predating the Gona tools by 700,000 years. So, if the Homo genus was not the ones to develop these tools, who else? In the earlier case, we had the clue in the form of Paranthropus teeth. In the case of the Lomikwai, a fossil from the Platyops was found five kilometers away from the site. In August 1998, field technician Blasto Onyango found a partial upper left jawbone of a hominin at the Lomikwai dig site by Lake Turkana in Kenya. This jawbone belongs to a species known as K. plodiops that might also include the two million year old Homo rudolfensis or K. rudolfensis. So its presence near the site suggests plodiops was the early developer of such stone tools. Harman noted that the artifacts found at Lomikwai 3 don't match the older one tool making tradition and should be considered part of a separate tradition she named Lomikwayan. Some believe that toolmaking might have played a role in the evolution of Homo into a distinct genus. However, it is not clear if Lomikwayan tools have anything to do with the Homo species. Maybe this technology was forgotten and later it was discovered by genus Homo. But until any new discovery, Platops are believed to be the only suspect. If you found this video interesting, be sure to give it a thumbs up and explore our channel to continue your journey through the history of humankind and beyond.